Hello and good morning, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curva.com and it is time again for our DAX Friday session. For this Friday we have a function called substitute and we are going to show you how to do it. Uh, it this function does exactly what it says, it substitutes text by another text. So I will show you how to do it in one occasion or in multiple places. So if you are curious to know how this function works, just stay tuned. So to start, let's look at the definition of substitute by Microsoft. Uh, here they it says what it does, it replaces existing text with a new text. Very simple function that you have, first you tell it where the text is, you say what is the old text, what is the new text, and then the number of times you would like to do that transformation if you have a specific requirement, otherwise you just leave it blank. Okay, so let's see this function in, app, in action. So here we are in Power BI, and as usual we are going to use the North Wind data set. This is a data set that is available for free and uh, there will be a link on the description box where if you want to use it you can actually um, download it for free. So what we have here is a table that has categories, category name and then it has description. So for this example let's pretend that we would like to change this cheeses line with cheese or blue cheese for example. Okay, so to do that, we go into modeling, new column, substitute one value. And here we write the formula, substitute the function. We have to tell which column where the text we want to replace is at. And then we have to write the old text, in this case is thesis and then the new text. Let's say that we want to change it to blue cheeses. Blue cheese. Okay, press enter and as you can see it transform the value of cheese to blue cheese. Great. Now what happens if we want to change blue cheese and this to fish for example? So for that we have to concatenate. Let's do a new column. We are going to substitute multiple values. So first we do exactly the same we did. Uh, for the first one we write cheeses and then blue cheese. So perfect. It's working as it should. Now, what we need to do is to do a new substitute. So let's write it again. Substitute, Alt, Enter, you get a new line. So you get a little, you know, it doesn't get so messed up. So now the substitute function here is your column. So this is where your text will be. And now here you write the new values. So we want to change C with and fish with fish. We try it. Of course, it's important that you spell stuff right. So now we have blue cheese and fish. And if you want to change another one, let's change this, for example, to meat. Substitute and then these two substitutes will be our column and we change prepared meat with meat, for example. And you see, works perfectly. You would normally do this in um, 
and Power Query, of course, but uh, you can substitute absolutely anything you like. Let's do the last example. We go to modeling new column and let's say that we want to substitute the first comma here with the bar. So substitute comma and we want to substitute it only on the first instance of it. Okay, so substitute. We take again the column what is at and we say we want to substitute the comma with this bar. I don't know how it's called. And we want to substitute it only on one instance. And if we do this a little bit smaller, you see that it's just, it just did it on the first instance where it found a comma. So you can substitute basically anything you like within a text. Great. Okay, so this is uh, actually all for this Friday. Uh, if you like the video, let me know by liking it or sharing it. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions about the video, just let me know in the comment box. And uh, subscribe, I publish Power VI videos every week. Don't forget to fill in our Dax Friday surveys, okay? Bye!